It is so hot in the bathroom. Ugh. So hot. Facebook hosting a party for a direct sales company that sold workout clothes. I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy something. These workout clothes are probably going to be better than the paint stained, super heavy, hot cotton yoga pants that I currently wear to work out. It really got me thinking, where can I purchase quality workout clothes that are actually meant for mid to plus size women that actually provide the support and the comfort and the style that I'm looking for. I did some research online and found five different companies that I thought would be worth purchasing from. And they are really kind of a wide array of company types. So those companies are Lane Bryant, which is meant for mid to plus size women, Old Navy, which is very size inclusive, but also a major chain store, Zia Active, which is a direct sales company, Fabletics, which is part of the Fab collection of brands. It is a subscription service that you can purchase from and it is pretty size inclusive. And the last one was Amazon. So I chose those five companies to purchase some items from and rank them. There were a few things that I did want to make sure that I got from them. I wanted a shirt with an open back. I wanted a bra that had some interest to it. I wanted pants preferably with pockets, and I wanted the pants to be more of a crop length. I am going to be grading each of the five companies in five separate categories, and those categories are variety of product, price, ease of ordering, shipping, and overall fit. I thought I'd start with Lane Bryant because Lane Bryant seems like the most reliable company for mid-size and plus-size clothes. When I order something from Lane Bryant, I typically get a size 18 or a size 18-20 if it's a combo size. One of the first things that I ordered from Lane Bryant was this sports bra. This is the low impact wicking sports bra. It's got a cute strappy back detail here. And I just thought it was really fun. I really liked the pattern. And with an open back shirt, I thought this would look really great. My other items from Lane Bryant, I actually ordered and had to pick up in store. The pants that I ordered from Lane Bryant actually got canceled once. So I had to go back in and reorder them. And I did the ship to store option so that the shipping was free. The shirt that I got from Lane Bryant is a strappy back dip tie t-shirt. And while I did want it to be more of a long sleeve shirt, the only option that they had at Lane Bryant was a uh, dolman sleeve top and what i really enjoyed was the detailing on the back of the shirt it's not as open on the back as i would have hoped the leggings that i got from lane bryant were the livy active power stretch capri wicking with mesh insert this is the only pair of pants that i could find on lane bryant that had the pocket that i was looking for ordering from lane bryant was actually very very easy i just went online and selected the items that i wanted in the sizes that i wanted and had them sent to the store, like I said, for free shipping. Shipping was fairly quick, and I got notifications in my email kind of at every step of the way, as soon as it shipped, when it arrived to the store, and when it was ready to be picked up. As far as price, after discounts and sales, this outfit cost me $77. As far as variety is concerned with Lane Bryant, I did notice that online, their Libby Active brand, which is their active wear brand, didn't provide a whole lot of variety. They have tons of different sports bras, but I noticed there wasn't very many pant options and there wasn't very many top options that were specifically geared towards workout gear. So as far as variety, they kind of fell middle of the road for me. So this was actually really difficult to get on. It's very tight. It was painful to try and put on. Um, it's squeezing kind of everywhere. This is my actual regular size in Lane Bryant bras. So, I would definitely have to size up. The back of the shirt is actually super cute. I really do like how it shows the bra and it feels pretty breezy. So let's see what the whole outfit looks like together. Here's the Lane Bryant outfit all on. And I like the mesh. I like how high it comes up without coming too high. Now these pants are actually a little bit shorter than I actually would normally want them to be. 
I do like the amount of compression that they have. They seem to hold me in quite a bit and help control this a little bit. And the pocket is rather large um, and it actually will hold my phone. The only thing I don't like about the positioning of this pocket is how high up it is because my leg bends right here and my phone is actually still this far down. So bending my leg, if I were to actually run, I feel like I'd end up pushing my phone up out of my pocket. This is the first pair we've tried on with pockets in it, so I don't know where the other ones are positioned, but I feel like this does end up causing a bit of an issue. I really like this shirt. Um, it fits really well, the length is perfect, and the sleeve length isn't bad. It's a little bit shorter than a regular t-shirt, which would be comfortable. And again, the back is really cute. It has the detail here. Overall, I really like the top, really happy with it. The bra I'm not super excited about because it is really tight, it's really uncomfortable. It's actually compressing my chest so much that it's hard to breathe. So <laughs> working out in it is probably not a good idea. I'm not gonna return it because I feel like eventually it will fit and they weren't very expensive to begin with. I think we got them at an insane sale. So these pants are probably gonna go back, but everything else I will hold on to. Um, let's try the next one. Zia Active is a fairly new, from what I could tell, direct sales company that sells men's and women's athletic wear, athleisure. They do state that they're pretty size inclusive, but on their actual website, that's not very well represented. A lot of the stuff that they show on their website is on um, very thin models. When a company says that it's size inclusive, I expect to see that represented in their branding, on their website. That was a little disheartening. My first order with Zia was two tops. This top, which is the Namaste long sleeve top, and another top that I was very excited about. It actually, it was a branded shirt. It had um, on the front, this really cool image. It kind of almost looked like a tarot card with a cool crescent moon, and I was very excited about it. It was on clearance. I was like, heck yeah, deal of the century. So I get it, and it's like some mom printed out an iron-on transfer sheet and glued the whole paper to the front of the shirt. It was terrible. So I returned it. I was like, there's no way in heck that I'm going to wear this shirt because as soon as I wash it, this thing's going to fall off. As soon as I put it over my chest, it's going to stretch and get all gross and, and break. I'm not even going to bother attempting to wear this. I'm just going to return it, get my money back, see if maybe I can put it towards something else. And so that's what I did. So for the longest time, all I had from that company was this shirt. This was, I want to say my first order was back in May. It's July right now. It is like mid July. So I returned the shirt and had all of their stuff been available to purchase in one go, totally would have done it. Could not find anything in my size except for this shirt and that other shirt that I returned. None of the bras came in my size. None of the pants came in my size. So over the last two months, I have placed three orders with this company. Uh, the first one was the two shirts that we talked about. The second order was a bra when they finally got it in my size. And the third order was the exchange from the shirt that I was told I wasn't gonna get an exchange after all, I was just gonna get my money back. And then all of a sudden I'm charged for the pair of pants. It is what it is now. I've got all three items. I've paid the correct price for all three items. Let's just see what they look like because I haven't even opened these two packages yet. So this is the pants, it looks like. These are Wine Pocket Brilliant High Rise Capri 20 inches in a size 20. So these actually look pretty small. Um, but I do believe that they have a compression situation in them. And so I think that this is supposed to provide some amount of tummy control. So we'll see what that ends up looking like. Okay, so we're going for jewel tones with this outfit, apparently. Uh, this is the bra. It's larger than I thought. I'm not going to be upset about it. I got to try it on. Got to figure it out. It might be a little bit big, honestly. This is the purple bomber bra in a size 3X. I don't recall asking for a 3X. My traditional size is a 2X, but we'll see. Maybe this will be really comfortable. I do like this detailing on the back, so we'll see what that looks like. 
So these are my items from Zia Active, a bra, a top, and a pair of pants. Overall, the pricing on this outfit, I'm not happy about. This outfit cost me twice as much as the Lane Bryan outfit at $156 for these three pieces. Price-wise, this one was the worst. This one definitely gets a one in the price department. Like this was not the amount of money I would ever want to spend again on another outfit. So for shipping, aside from the fact that I had to place three separate orders, there was no free shipping option. It wasn't like purchase X number of dollars or X many pieces to get free shipping. It was $350 for the first two pieces and $750 after that. It's not a terrible price for shipping, but most companies nowadays, if I'm spending $156, I expect free shipping. Not only that, but because I had to order three separate times, I ended up spending, what, $15 almost on shipping. So shipping on this was not rated very highly either. As far as variety is concerned, I already kind of touched on this. If I wasn't filming this video, I'll tell you I would not have gone back because that ordering process and the variety was so frustrating. I really hope that these pieces are absolutely phenomenal and they change my mind about all of these other things entirely. So let's put it on and find out. This bra is actually too big. There's a lot of gapping. Doesn't feel like it supports me as well as it probably should. So it's a little bit big. You can tell right here on the sides. This is the back of the bra. It's actually not too bad. With the shirt, it's really kind of cute. I mean, yes, the bra's too big, but maybe once I wash it, it'll shrink a little bit. It's so comfortable though. It's actually a really comfortable bra. This is the Zia outfit altogether. This top is really soft and really comfortable and very light. My only issue with this shirt is that the way that it's cut, it's cut really high in the front and it gets longer in the back, which makes me a little bit self-conscious wearing it out of the house. Um, but as far as these pants go, they seem to be doing a pretty good job of holding in my problem area. Um, my only concern is I feel like they might slip down a little bit. They're tighter here than they are at the actual waistband level. If I were to start running, it would actually maybe roll down or slip down. They're not awful though. The crop length is actually better than the crop length on the Lane Bryant ones. I do like the length of these. The pocket is a little bit farther down on the side of the leg instead of on the front of the leg, which I think is going to be helpful in keeping my phone in. So it does hold my giant phone and I feel like it's actually holding it pretty well. Even if I bend my leg, I don't feel like it's gonna fall out. Um, or even be pushed out because of where it is. It's on the side of my leg instead of on the front of my leg. Um, overall, this outfit's not terrible. I will say for all of the shipping and ordering issues that I had and the amount of money I spent on it, it's definitely not like 100% on my top list. Um, I do wish I had gone a size smaller in the bra because of how large it actually is. The other thing with the bra that I didn't actually get to show you, but also it's got these, let me see if I can trace the outline. It's got these pads in it that are meant to help, you know, keep things in place, but the pads themselves are shifting. So they're not even in the same spots. Like they start really far out. So I'm going to wash this bra and hope that it fits a little bit better. If nothing else, this bra will be fine for doing yoga in my house. With it being such a big bra, I don't think it'll be helpful when I'm running. But overall, for fit, um, I've had issues with the top and with the bra. The pants actually seem to be perfectly fine other than the waistband gapping. So fit, again, it's middle of the road for me. There's really nothing that stands out as, oh my God, I love this so much. So our hopes that this was absolutely incredible did not actually happen. This to me is more of a yoga in my home outfit versus a out running, walking with my son outfit. All of these pieces I will keep mostly to avoid having to deal with their return process again. But again, fit on this outfit is very middle of the road. So when I saw that Old Navy was listed as one of the top options, of course I had to include it in this video. 
I actually ordered the bra three separate times because that specific item kept getting canceled. Let's go ahead and look and see what we ended up getting from Old Navy. This is the relaxed cutout back French Terry shirt. And I'm excited for it. It's a very similar looking top to the Zia Active top actually. Um, but it looks like it's gonna be much better fitting than the Zia top. Okay, so this is the pants and the bra. These are the Elevate Legging Crop High Rise Go Dry Active Pants. And they have a wicking mesh insert as well with a cool pocket. Um, these are in a size 2XL. I'm excited about these. So we're going with a monochromatic look for this old navy outfit apparently. This is the bra. It's a black bra. It is the medium support go dry old navy bra. And it's actually very similar to the Lane Bryant option, except that the strings are actually attached in the back. To size up Old Navy, this actually this outfit cost me exactly the same amount as the Lane Bryant outfit, which was $77. I think looking at it and feeling it, I'm going to like this outfit a lot more. I did end up using, again, online coupons and online free shipping options. Ordering from them was very easy. Again, it's a big company, so I just went online, picked the things I wanted and the sizes I wanted, and it very quickly and easily shipped to me. So I really did enjoy the ordering and shipping process on these. Very similar experience to Lane Bryant. Um, again, where a few things got canceled. I think that's really just the time we live in and does not really speak to their availability of products as a company. As far as the variety of Old Navy, I was very surprised to see they had so many more options available for styles and colors and patterns and just pieces in general than Lane Bryant did. Because Lane Bryant, like I said, they specialize in this. Old Navy is just so size inclusive that they had everything I needed in the sizes that I wanted and every style that was available in a standard size was available in the plus size as well. Let's try it on and see what it actually looks like. This is the Old Navy bra. It's not bad. The fit is okay. It feels snug enough to hold me in. I wish there were more fabric on the side because I feel like it's not doing a whole lot to hold any of this in. It's comfortable, it was easy to get on. This is a little high for me. I feel really warm right there. Other than that, it's okay, not bad. This is the back of the Old Navy shirt. I actually really, really like it a lot. It's very comfortable. This fabric is super soft. I like the back of the shirt a lot. I feel like it's open enough to be breezy, but still covered enough that I don't feel like everybody sees my whole body. So I really like the back of the shirt a lot. Here's the Old Navy outfit. These pants are the perfect length for me. This is the exact length that I was hoping for. The mesh detail on these goes from the inside of the leg around the back to about where the knee is. The pocket on these, again, is on the far side. So let's see if it fits my phone. It does fit my phone pretty well. Um, again, it's a little farther forward than I would like. So if I bend my leg, my phone pokes out right here. That's probably, uh, three out of three, that's probably just an issue with how large my phone is. Um, and I'll fully admit that. But um, it does feel snug in there, honestly. Other than poking out a little bit, I don't feel like it's actually gonna fall out because the fabric on the phone pocket actually feels really nice and tight. They come up nice and high, so I do like how high they come up and they feel like they're controlling my problem area pretty well. I actually am very happy with how these feel. Um, so far, these are the best pants I've tried on. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. I love this shirt. I just noticed it has these little like thumb holes like we used to cut in our sweatshirts in the late 90s. The back of the shirt is cute. I don't mind it. I like the opening in the back of the shirt. It's actually really fun. I like this bra. I just wish that it was higher on the sides. Overall, this is actually the best outfit that I've had on today. Um, the pants fit great. They're the perfect length. They have the right amount of breathability. The pocket's nice and snug, um, even if it's a little too short. The shirt is really comfortable, nice and breathable in the back, and the bra fits well with the exception of the sides. Overall, Old Navy seems to be winning in the fit department. Let's see how the other ones stack up. 
The next company that I ordered from is Amazon. And because Amazon had such a wide variety of things, and it's actually a little bit more difficult to figure out how those things are going to fit because they're not all from the same company, I did order two different bras. The only thing that I did find an issue with was a lot of the tops on Amazon. They were all very much geared towards standard sizing, very small individuals. Even the things that said that they were 2X were like a 2X teen. This is the U-Haul Women's Plus Size Active Legging High Waist Yoga Pant with Pocket Tummy Control Running. So again, with the mesh insert, this isn't something I was going for on all of them. I think it just kind of happened, but we do have a pocket here. These definitely feel like your standard yoga pants. They don't feel super compression tummy control like some of the others. So this bra is the Amazon brand Core 10 Women's Icon Series Ballerina Sports Bra. This size doesn't look too bad, honestly. Um, it looks like it's gonna fit fairly well. I was a little concerned that they were going to run small, but I have high hopes for this, really cute. So this is the Amazon brand Core 10 Women's Lattice Strappy Back Long Line Yoga Sports Bra which I thought was a very interesting style choice for the bra. So apparently these are both the same Amazon Core 10 brand, uh, but we will try both of these bras on. I like the length of this one. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be very comfortable and the fabric is very different than the ballerina style. This is the champion top that I ordered on Amazon. Okay, this is cute. It's got a dolman drop sleeve, a little bit of ribbing, a fun cutout in the back I'm really excited about. And again with the wine color, I must have been in a mood you guys when I was ordering all this stuff. But this is very lightweight, fairly excited about what we got from Amazon actually. I think out of all of them, these bras feel and look some of the most comfortable that we've gotten. With the Amazon pieces, the bras actually cost the same price. They were within a few cents of each other. So total the Amazon outfit cost me $70. The pricing on this is not that bad, I would say. Um, if these pieces do fit, these are pieces that I would buy again. Ordering on Amazon is super easy, we all know that. Shipping from Amazon was super easy. There were no issues with the shipping. Again, it all came within a few days, standard Amazon stuff. And the variety really was there with the exception of the shirt like I talked about before. So let's see what it looks like on. This is the first Amazon bra. It's the ballerina fit one. And I definitely feel like it's made for a smaller frame. The cups actually feel like they're a little bit small. Other than that, it was really easy to get on. It fits actually okay. The fabric's really soft and nice and comfortable, so I'm not too upset about that. This is the back of the Amazon Ballerina bra, and it's, it's pretty cute. I do feel like it hits me in a weird spot, um, and I don't know if that has to do with the fact that, like I said, it's cut for a smaller frame. I mean, it's kind of cute. It was really easy to get on. The fabric is really soft. This is the second Amazon Brands one. It's the long line bra. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite so far. It fits really well here. I don't feel squished. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out. The sides are high enough. And it comes down low enough that like, if I didn't want to wear a shirt, I would be okay. So overall, I have to say, this one's probably my favorite. This fabric is also so soft, like incredibly soft. This is the back of the Amazon brand Longline bra. And I have to say, I really, really love the back of this bra. Um, it's very comfortable. It's nice and open in the back, which is, like I said, the problem area for me where I get hot the most. This one, I'm still saying it, this is my favorite one so far, my favorite bra so far. This is the Amazon outfit. Right off the bat, I will say these are my least favorite pants so far. When I was putting them on, they made a few snapping sounds as though there were some threads that got pulled a little too tight, even though they weren't even that, like the pants aren't even that tight. It just was pulling of the threads. They do almost nothing to help with this area. Based on the way that my hand feels in the pocket, I don't really think that this little pocket is gonna hold very much. No, see my phone sticks up out of it. The crop on these is too short, the pocket's too small. They don't really do anything here. These pants will most likely go back. As far as the shirt though, this shirt has probably got to be one of my favorite shirts so far. Uh, the sleeves are a three quarter length and they're really soft. I do like the drop sleeve, so that's really fun. The shape 
is really good. The back of the shirt's really interesting. I like that the back of the shirt is open without crossing. I feel like that gives me a different feeling on the back of the shirt. Overall, I'm happy with the top half of this Amazon outfit. The pants are definitely going back. The last company we have to look at today is Fabletics. I did end up placing two orders with Fabletics and this was a no fault of theirs. I just got really excited and ended up placing an order for the pants and then forgot to order the shirt and the bra, so I had to go back and place a separate order. This top that I got is the Betty Pullover 2 but this one had a large neck in it. Um, it's kind of a, an off the shoulder option, I think. So I thought that it would give me the open back feeling that I was going for. This is the Kessler Medium Impact Sports Bra. Uh, moisture wicking, all way stretch fabric, racer back with multi-strap detail, removable cups and medium support. That has some features that the other stuff doesn't have. I also just thought that these fun color details on the back were really interesting. So that means that the last package that we have is the pants that I ordered. Um, again, on Fabletics, when you first order, you can get the two pants for $24 option, uh, which is what I did, so it's not really a bad price at all. The first one is the Trinity Mid-Rise Pocket Legging in a 7 8 length. Not really the length I was going for. Um, because this is a 7 8 length, which means it does go straight all the way down to the ankle. But I'm excited to try it nonetheless. Again, these look pretty small, but I think that these had a tummy control feature to the fabric. The waistband is really nice, so I'm excited to try these. Let's see what the other pair that I got was. This is the Oasis High Waisted Pocket Capri in the color Abyss, also in a 2X. These ones are the capri length, so that's the length I was going for. And they seem to have the same amount of compression stretch to them as the other pair did. Everything that I've opened so far from Fabletics has felt very high quality. In fact, more high quality than the Lane Bryant and even the Zia Active stuff that I ordered. So I'm very excited to try on my first stuff ever from Fabletics. Everybody always speaks so highly of it, which is again why I had to include it in this video. So pricing with Fabletics was a little hard for me to figure out, only because I did purchase with my very first order, which meant that my leggings were two for $24 when they're regularly like $50 a piece. So the price I'm gonna give you is the price with my first order discounts and VIP membership discounts. So total for one pair of pants, the bra and the shirt, was $56 for this outfit. Let's go ahead and try this on and actually see what I think about it overall. This bra has a nice, I mean, it didn't wasn't advertised as a long line, but I mean, it's got a lot of good coverage down below. It comes up pretty good height on the side. The cut of the neck is actually really good. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. Let's take a look at the back. The back actually looks pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. I like the different colors. Um, this isn't one I could wear on its own just because I do feel a little exposed in the back, but it's actually really cute and I don't know why I don't buy more white. This is the Fabletics outfit. I did get two pairs of Fabletics pants. These are the longer 7 8 length and they're actually really comfortable. They're not quite to my ankle so I think after trying these on, I think that 7 eighths is actually the length that I like, and I've just been fooling myself with thinking I wanted a cropped length. I am insanely excited to see how my phone fits in this pocket, because this pocket feels really, really long. Oh yeah, there's this much pocket left. Um, my phone's all the way down. My phone is not going anywhere in these pants. Um, it has actually... In the pocket, it's below the where my leg bends, so it's not going anywhere. And there's actually three layers to this. So if I needed to put my debit card in one layer and a key in another, I definitely could. Very, very happy with, with these pants. Nice change of pace from the Amazon ones I just had on. The shirt is very soft, soft enough to the point where like I just keep touching it. And the fact that this isn't an open back shirt, it's just an off the shoulder shirt, makes it feel more like this is one I would probably save for fall and winter workouts. Overall, the top half of this Fabletics outfit I love. Everything is so soft. Everything fits really well. 
And again, these pants are really awesome. And I think seven eighths is the actual length of pant I should be going for. Um, let's try on the other pair of Fabletics pants and see what I think about them. This is the Fabletics outfit with the other pair of pants. These are the Capri length pant. And these aren't bad at all. Honestly, the length difference between this pair and the other pair is really only about an inch. These are much more high-waisted than the other one. So in fact, the bra and the pants just about touch in this pair. Um, this is the Oasis high-waisted pair. It's not uncomfortable. Um, they're just really, really high. And I do honestly feel like this one has the best control of my problem area in the front. The pocket on this one's a little bit different, so I'm gonna try my phone again one last time. And let's see, just as deep. It's only a single layer pocket this time instead of a triple layer, but the pocket's just as deep. Again, it clears where my leg bends and I don't feel like my phone's gonna fall out at all. Very, very happy with everything I got from Fabletics. I'm going to go ahead and put on my favorite outfit of all and give you the final rankings. My favorite top overall was the Old Navy cutout back French terry top. I really liked this top just because it seemed the most airy out of all of them. The back was really comfortable and flowy. As you can see when I turn around, my favorite bra out of the bunch was the Amazon brand long line bra. It just is the most comfortable and it fits the best. And I just really like the design of the back as well and the fact that I could most likely wear it as its own top. Um, it just fits so, so well, and I might order this one in other sizes or in other colors, so that's awesome. My favorite pant out of all of them was the Trinity Mid-Rise Pocket Pant, and I think the reason I liked it is because of the length, which to me is surprising because, like I said, I didn't want a 7 eighths length, um, but also just the control, the... Um, top of the pants where it hits me is just perfect. These are my favorite items out of the whole bunch. Now let's take a look at how all of the companies stacked up. As far as price is concerned, the best value was the Fabletics. Again, this is just the first order and I'm not sure how pricing is going to stack up beyond that. But for the initial order, Fabletics ended up being the most cost effective. The worst price was the Zia Active brand at almost three times the price of the Fabletics. As far as the ordering process is concerned, Lane Bryant was super easy. Again, they just, they're a company who has a very established website and ordering the things from their website is very, very easy. As far as the least, it would be Zia. We just had so many issues with getting everything ordered, stuff not being available in my size, and I had to order three separate times. As far as the shipping process, I don't think anybody can beat Amazon at this point. So of course, Amazon does score the highest score in this category, and the lowest score again goes to Zia. As far as product variety is concerned, Fabletics had so many options available for plus size. And again, Zia scores the lowest in this category because they did not have the plus sizes available in almost any of their items. And for overall fit, the this is the surprising category because Lane Bryant actually scored the lowest in overall fit. They're a company who specializes in plus size clothing. I definitely would have assumed that they would have scored much higher than they did. The surprise winner of this category is actually Fabletics, which I wasn't sure exactly how Fabletics was going to stack up against this. And it did really, really well. Our ultimate winner is Fabletics. And the company that scored the lowest points is Zia Active. Overall, I hope that you got some really great information to determine whether or not it's worth it for you to buy from these five different companies. So in the long run, I do think it's worth it for me to buy from Fabletics again. I do not think it's worth it for me to buy from Zia Active again. The other three companies all fell middle of the road. I will purchase some things from them and some other things I may not. Remember to please like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video, if you've had different experiences with these companies. and. See you guys next time. Bye.